What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Classic, absolute classic. Always background noise when I'm trying to do some kind of intro or talking clip. Anyway, the seagulls are telling you, I'm in Margate on my ones. Charlie isn't available because he's on holiday, but I am playing in a charity football match. Hoping to capture some in-game footage for you. If you're seeing a video on the 2nd of September, then yes, we succeeded. <laughs> a bonus upload for you, but I'm here at the pitch. I haven't played an 11 and side game in ages, so hopefully I'm not too rusty, but <laughs> I'm so buzz. We'll keep you posted as to how I get on, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Leave a like if you do. See you in a bit. Playing on a 3G pitch. Haven't actually played on this pitch before. During our playing days when we played at Kent level for Dover and Folkestone, we played a lot around the East Coast. So we played teams like Ramsgate, Margate, but we never actually played on their pitch. We used to play at this park. It's quite a big park, but we'd play in the grass over there. So this is actually my first time playing on this stadium pitch. So it's pretty cool, looking good. Number nine representing Knuckleball, Twins and Sue. And 99, Lee Marshall, aka Disco Boy. Hello and welcome as a splendid summer sunset cast over Margate, the inaugural IBD Visible Cup commences. Charlton forward Kevin Lisby on the spot kick and you'd expect no less really. Crosses and Lisby nods in to make it 2-0 to Thanet. Channel. He was a late replacement for the injured Marcus Bent, and well, he's done justice to the number nine shirt. Cruising in to make it 3 0 now. You see my reason for it's a GoPro. Yeah, I don't know what to say though. <laughs> <laughs> With Lee Marshall, Disco Boy. Links in the description, absolute legend. We are huge fans of his work, always have been, always will be. I feel like we're on the same kind of wavelength in terms of interest and that kind of um, knowledge and what you believe in. So, yeah, yeah, really yeah. grateful to meet you today. It's been a good game, isn't it? You nearly so scored? For you, for you guys, you actually scored. <laughs> yeah. It's been a good game for them. <laughs> it's different. No, they're, though. Cheeky, they're cheeky. I thought it was a proper charity match of like, no one would know how to play it. <laughs> They're looking at me like, oh, I can't believe you're playing in, in, in trainers. Boots. I can't believe you're playing in trainers. So I didn't know everyone else was going to turn up professional boots, footballers. Yeah. Like I have my own football boots. I've got my own roller skates. Coming like work boots instead. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe I'm the only person that hasn't got roll, uh, football boots. Like it's the norm, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the norm? Well, is it, is they're the only world? thing you meant to bring. You've got your kit provided. At least you haven't got bent on the back of your shirt. Yeah, and no, I thought that. I thought of all the things you could have had. Hang on, look. <laughs>
disconnect the neat little pass. Wins the one on one. And it's Captain Jack. And Barton makes it, Than at six, Garden three. Solid win, we'll take it. There he is, final trophy, quality game. I don't know what to score in the end. 6-2, 6-2 two. Two final result, up to Thanet. <laughs> All done then. I really enjoyed that. Those 10k runs I've been doing have certainly helped me out there. <laughs> it was a blowout. Lethargic defending from myself, that's not really my game. I know it's a bit of a cop out to do and to say, but I enjoyed the bits on the ball. That's where you get the best out of me. The goal I scored, I loved it. The build up play beforehand was what made it, and that is one of the best parts of football, for me anyway. Linking up with players, getting the one twos, the triangles, moving off the ball. Let the ball do the work, it's as simple as that. I'm with the main man himself, Sam, and it is a pleasure meeting him today for the first time you're coming, Sam, mate. There he is, this is Sam, and he has organised everything, bless him. He's running round, making sure everyone's happy. His hospitality's been on point. Sorted us out with being here today, and I'm really grateful to be involved, and thank you for inviting me to play today. What are your... is having you down. Thank you, and what were your thoughts on the game? Would you want to tell us a bit about your story, maybe, as well? Oh, of course, absolutely. Well, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I just wasn't sure how to approach it. I mean, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at the age of 14. Yeah. And since then, I've, I've, I've rarely really found an opportunity to, like, to spread awareness about the condition. I mean, I, I personally don't know um, anyone who have the, has the condition. Um, recently, this, this event, I decided to host this to create an awareness for the condition as so many more people struggle with it than we know. It's just something that is very taboo. You know, it's, you know, the worst of it is very difficult to talk about. But over the course of the last few months preparing this match and bringing in some incredible talents, I really feel this is this should really start something for the Crohn's and Colitis community. And I'm so grateful for everybody who's coming down to the match. And of course, the watching as well. Like, like, like and subscribe. Oh, cool. It's great to hear you a part of the story because that's why we're all here today. And like Sam said, he wants to bring awareness. And I feel like a lot of condition illnesses, I've got illnesses myself, and they're not always exposed and out there. And it's about making people aware, isn't it? And having Absolutely. an understanding and not being judged for it as well because it can be a difficult world to live in these days. So it's really important that we're all support, we all support each other. And that's what the case has been about today, just bringing awareness and supporting just the condition and, ho and hoping that it all gets out there. So, thank you for your time, man. It's been having you. Cool, that's one. In the match, I was Marcus Ben. <laughs> so what happened was, I was playing for the Garden of England, right? Is that Originally, right? Yes. Originally, and Fanet was short on players. So I had, at the start, Sammy tapes on the back. <laughs> and then I became Ben, but in the player's name, of course, Marcus Ben. So, and he couldn't make it, could he? Is that right? He fell over in his garden. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but what are the chances in that? Head of the game. He knew he was playing, he's about to play, but I suppose because he isn't here, I took his shirt yeah, today. at that point, you just don't do any heavy lifting, don't do any. Uh, <laughs> yeah, heavy yeah. Making. Yeah. You'll be all right. Exactly. I, I was cautious all week and I was fine. So, <laughs> it was great to play alongside Kevin Lisby as well. What a baller he is. Again, the kind of player that works really well off me. That kind of play into his feet, he holds the ball up. So, I hope you enjoyed it as well, guys. I hope there was enough footage there for you. We'll see you next week for Unlucky Efforts, I think it is. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye, Claire. Yeah, I'll keep it. 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 Yeah